Okay, so uh, this man filed a lawsuit against the Hawkins County deputies. Um, he alleges that on April 12, 2020, Hawkins County deputies submerged his face in a mud puddle and punched and stomped him while he screamed, I can't expletive breathe. Good old cocky Ronnie Lawson, the sheriff. He told the Times News on Monday his department will be exonerated from these allegations. Pending litigation, I can't make my official comment on this lawsuit at this time except to say I reviewed the facts and my officers didn't do anything wrong. They acted appropriately. So then it says, in the late hours of April 11, 2020, Greenville police attempted a suspected DUI traffic stop. He said that um, he never... He did not stop, but he never exceeded 65 miles per hour. He said um, he mostly continued on at 50 miles an hour. The lawsuit further alleges, with his face submerged in a muddy puddle, multiple officers pounced onto, onto him, while one officer repeatedly stomped the back of his neck Another officer delivered numerous punches to his face. Shipley states in the lawsuit he acquired deputy body camera video recordings of the incident. And according to the lawsuit, after Barnett exclaimed he can't breathe, a voice identified as Hawkins County Sheriff's Office Deputy Michael Martin is heard saying, Are you trying to get your ass beat? I'm going to whoop your ass. That's what you get when you run from the police, dumbass. So good old Ronnie says he's going to, you know, they're going to be um, exonerated from this uh, case where they beat this man at a traffic stop. And he sounds like he, he feels pretty confident that they're going to be fine. I wonder why. I wonder, could there be people related to him or in, in on something with him that... Um, would allow him to just be bulletproof like that and, and not face a lawsuit. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that one. That's pretty slimy if you ask me. This man right here is Bill Creasy. He is the constable for Hawkins County. A constable is very similar to a police officer. They can, in some cases, depending on the area, do traffic stops. Um, and arrest people. Uh, they serve papers and do other things uh, similar to that. I'll, I'll put some up here on the screen for you to see. The story with old Bill is he got elected uh, to be the constable, but he did not um, swear in and, and begin his duty as constable until September 1st of 2018. On August 15th, Bill decided to pull somebody over in his neighborhood and arrest them. And he did this before he was actually sworn in. So he was forced to resign because resigning would mean that Bill's sentence would be much less. So he resigned. Well, the next election came up and the people on the in the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office decided Bill needed to be able to come back and do his job as constable. And so they had another election. They did not tell anyone, but they allowed a write-in vote for Bill Creasy. And there were enough people that knew about it and enough people that didn't that he actually won the election. So he became constable even though he wasn't supposed to be so he gets back in the position of being constable but he gets arrested again um, in 2019 because he was taking meth from the people he would pull over and seize it from and it would he would keep it and he said he was training 
um, drug dogs, which he claimed to be a drug dog trainer. Say that three times fast. But um, he was keeping meth from criminals to so to supposedly train his dogs um, to be able to find find that by scent. So now he's arrested again. And so these are the kind of people that I'm finding stories on for Hawkins County. And I, it's like a different world. It's like, you know, that sheriff office there in Hawkins County goes by a whole different set of rules. They make, may they, they make their own rules. And this is insane. And to think that it's not affecting or impacts Summer's case, I think is reaching. It, it really does. It really concerns me that these are the people in charge of finding Summer. This is our first line. They get assisted by TBI and FBI is there only if they ask for their help. So please consider uh, signing the petition I made to get Summer's case into the hands of the FBI. It's on my community page. Um, we've got about a little over 200 signatures, and I'd really like to get it up to 500 and see if we can get noticed. So thank you guys. Have a good night.